Hello, my name is Mauricio and I'm presenting here the work called Design of a Vertical Test Bench for Hybrid Rocket Motors with TVC Testing Capabilities. Well, vertical test benches are very useful in testing rocket engines. Uh, it provides the possibility of testing the rocket engine in the launch position and it, fa it facilitates the testing of the TVC systems, which are systems that are u very used nowadays due to the possibility of controlling the rocket. So in general, this type of structures are more complex and costly in compared with horizontal test benches. But for laboratory scale rocket engines, in general, the laboratories don't have uh, the same amount of resources that companies has. So for laboratory scales, a uh, vertical test bench requires some characteristics and those characteristics are that it must be simple, safe, low costs, mobile, and capable of providing the possibility of testing TVC systems, as I already said. So the hybrid motor to be used in this vertical test bench is the SARA, which is a hybrid motor to be used on a re-entry platform. And it uses nitrous oxide as oxidizer, uses paraffin as uh, solid fuel, and this is a schematic of the motor. So to organize the work, a workflow was structured. It starts with some inputs. The inputs are the motor itself. So it has a thrust of one kilonewton and a weight of approximately 20 kilograms. We assumed a safety factor of three since it the structure needs to be safe. A uh, safety factor of three gives this safety for the operators. Uh, the TVC system will provide the change of angle of 15 degrees and is being assumed to use jet vanes on the exit of the nozzle. And the fitting system will be adapt since the CPL already has the, a fitting system for the horizontal test bench. So now the fitting system needs to be adapted for a vertical disposition. So with these inputs, a generic structural design could be made. And with this generic design, a profile selection was made for the bars. With this profile selection, a 3D design was conceptualized. And with this design, a static analysis was made. If after the static analysis, the safety factor is not greater or equal to three, uh, we went back to the profile selection, changed the, changed the design and make the static analysis again. If the safety factor is greater or equal to three, we move to the next part of the work, which is the dynamic analysis. If after the dynamic analysis, the natural frequencies were not higher than the frequency of oscillation of the chamber pressure, we go back to the profile selection and make all the static analysis again and goes back to the dynamic analysis. If the natural frequency is higher than the frequency of oscillation of the chamber pressure, we can move forward to the data acquisition system adaptation and the interface between motor and the vertical test bench. So the fitting system adaptation was made like this. So here uh, it is possible to see the horizontal disp disposition for the horizontal test bench of the laboratory. And now for the vertical test bench, a vertical disposition can be seen here to adapt the system. So here on the system, the white line is the oxidizer line and the black line is a nitrogen line used for purges. And to actuate the pneumatic actuators. So we have a oxidizer tank and a nitrogen tank and we have a vent uh, to vent the oxidizer and to fill the oxidizer tank. And we have also some pressure transducers and thermocouples especially for our control valve that was developed on the laboratory. So for the profile selection we considered three uh, profiles, three cross sections. The first one was the circular one then the square one and the I one, the I beam. So to choose between them, uh, some parameters were taken in consideration. The first one was the availability on the market. The second was the costs. The third was the second moment of area, since we need a high second moment of area. And the ease on manufacturing and assembly. 
After the analyzing those three profiles, the square one gives the best results. Uh, the I beam, for example, gives us a higher second moment of area, but costs are higher and it has lower availability. It is more difficult to manufacture and assembly. And the circle one has lower second moment of area, is not so available, costs are more or less the same of the square. So we can see that the square one gives us the best relation between those parameters. So here now it's possible to see the design. Uh, so here we have the fitting system that was shown previously uh, coupled with the vertical test bench structure. And now it is possible also to see the hybrid motor schematics here with a interface structure that will be detailed soon. This image here is a backward uh, view, so it is possible to see how the fitting system is coupled on the structure. A deflecting plate is also used to deflect the flames from the from the motor. And with the design, we can make the static analysis. Structure steel was used on this analysis, so it has a yielding strength of 350 megapascals. And with uh, the analysis with no TVC, this means that the force is upwards, the whole force upwards. We have here a maximum tension of, and this is applying a force of 3 kN of thrust. That this is uh, assuming a safety factor of 3, so we have a higher safety factor than 3, comparing these two results and assuming that the thrust is 3 times higher. Also, the test bench is fixed on the ground by those four points here. And for the TVC, we considered the critical case that it is with 15 degrees, as we previously said. And we have here this maximum tension, that it is lower than the Yaudi strength, so we have higher a safety factor of higher than 3. For the dynamic analysis, we could take the vibration modes and natural frequencies. So here in this table we can see the first modes, the first five modes, and those uh, frequencies. This this chart here is one of the tests of the SARA. So here it is possible to see the frequency of oscillation of the chamber pressure with burning time. And it is possible to see that all time the frequency is lower than the natural frequencies, except for this point. But it happens very fast, so it is not a, it is not a problem. A analysis of the system response of a sinusoidal force was made. So a sinusoidal force of 3 kN was made. And here it is possible to see that the peaks and valleys are between the modes 3 and 5. This region shows the peaks, the tension peaks, which are the most critical tensions that the structure is suffering. Checking the SARA's frequencies, the, we, it is possible to see that they are lower than the natural frequencies and the tensions are below the yielding with a safety factor greater than 3. For the inter interface between the motor and the vertical test bench, a structure of three coupling bars was designed with three load cells. The three load cells gives the possibility of taking data on the three directions of the thrust and those coupling bars are attached directly to the load cells and to the motor. Here on this detail it is possible see, to see that a ring it is, is welded on both ends of the bars. On the side of the motor some bolts are responsible for attaching these rings to the manifold of the engine and the other side, as I already said, the load cell is attached. So with this design, a vertical test bench was provided being simple. This means that it is easily assembled and disassembled and with low amount of components. It provides capabilities of testing TVC systems. So we made a load cell and interface arrangement capable of gathering data of thrust on the three directions and permitting that the motor applies this force. It is a safe structure, so it has a safety factor of three. It is it has low costs, 
since we are using only cut parts and low amount of parts also and it is mobile since it has low weight and it can be easily moved uh, for another laboratories or other parts of the laboratory we thank the chemical propulsion laboratory and the university of brazil for the support thank you